In this video tutorial, we will go through installing the software and connecting the hardware for the NI LabVIEW Robotics Starter Kit. Once you have installed the NI LabVIEW Robotics module software, you will need to connect the hardware to make the robot functional. First, we will connect the ultrasonic distance sensor. When connecting the sensor, make sure the black end of the wire is connected to ground. Once you have connected the sensor, place it atop the servo motor. Now that you're done installing the sensor, you will need to connect the two power cables together. Finally, plug in the Ethernet cable to your router and to the single board Rio for direct communication to your robot. Next, follow the on-string instructions for the hardware setup. Make sure the motor switch is off during this time. The hardware wizard steps through the process of detecting the SB Rio, installing the appropriate software to the target, calibrating the ultrasonic distance sensor, testing for object detection and motor movement, and provides the IP address for your SB Rio. Use the robotics project wizard that starts automatically when you exit the hardware setup to configure the project for your robot. The wizard will then configure a project with the correct real-time and FPGA targets along with any necessary VIs. Once the robotics project wizard is done configuring the project, it will also open roaming.vi. Read the front panel of this VI to verify that everything is configured properly. This is the main VI that you'll be using to run your robotics project. Select the run button to deploy the code to the target. Once you turn the motor switch on, you can observe the robot avoiding obstacles on the ground. For objects that are far away, it will plan a path to avoid the obstacle. For objects that are too close to immediately avoid, the robot will stop, move backward, and plan a new direction to travel. There are two main sections of code for the robotics project that contains the roaming VI. The first part of the project is the real-time code. This code initializes the motors, detects objects, records where objects have been detected, and plans a new course for the robot to move in. This VI also has functions that are calibrated for this particular project's motors and sensors. If you are not using the NI LabVIEW Robotics Starter Kit, you can change, modify, or remove these VIs for your own design. The second part of the project is the FPGA code. The FPGA code controls the actual I.O. that the robot uses to detect objects and move the motors. There are four main sections of code in the FPGA VI. First, there is the encoder loop, which will determine motor velocity, an ultrasonic distance loop that will be used to detect objects, a sensor servo motor control loop, which will control the movement of the ultrasonic distance sensor, and the drive motor control loop that will use PID to determine the next and actual positions of the motors to control the robot's speed. Now that you know how to use the NI LabVIEW for Robotics Starter Kit to create a mobile robot, you can expand out with different sensors, motors, and bases to create a truly customizable prototyping platform. For additional robotics information, check out either ni.com forward slash robotics or ni.com forward slash prototyping.